Hello everyone, my name is Running Batman. Welcome back. Today we've got more Modern Warfare 2. We're going to try the O Cristo Redentor on Veteran Difficulty. I hope you enjoy this. So when you start off, you'll notice that you're pretty much in a bit of an open area between the two cars there. In the extra car there with the back kind of exposed, you'll find a shotgun sitting around. Just because I cannot stand the other shotgun that they give you. So I'll grab that just because I enjoy the AA-12 a lot more, plus the heartbeat sensor comes in handy. So as well with this map, since it's about 50 or so hostiles, more so because they continue to spawn, they're always going to be against you, so you want to stay stocked up as best as possible. So your best friend is going to be that little munitions box right there. You're going to see me probably go back to it at least about 20 times this video. Throughout the gameplay though, you'll want to watch out for explosive barrels and civilians, as if you take out any civilians with a max of three, then you're automatically going to lose. Usually what I'll do is I'll blow up the explosive barrels right away just because then it eliminates that sort of warning to, you know, make sure you don't eliminate the civilians. You want to take lots of cover here, you want to use grenades as well. Um, try to basically think long range rather than shorter. Use flashes whenever able, aim down the sights and get a couple of good shots off, but don't linger, because eventually you'll get pinned down and that's not good for you. Aim high, one shot to the head always works. Watch out for dogs as well. Unfortunately in this, if you get tackled, you can't knife them or anything like that, so once they're on top of you, it's game over. I usually find this little house right here and sit there with either a shotgun or a machine gun aimed straight at the doorway, take them out immediately. This is probably my favorite spot to hide just because it is so convenient because nobody hops in through the windows or behind you. You'll have lots of cover and there's only one really narrow spot to come in but it's long enough where shotguns are definitely a viable option. So what I try to do is kind of stay in zones. So I will immediately start within that first little left section of the map. I'll go up to the house and then stay around that area. Make sure that there are no enemies spawning and once I know that there's nobody spawning, I'll go back, grab more ammo, move on to the next area, which is usually the one on the right. I usually stick away from claymores in this as well, just because if they do happen to go off in a area that is near a civilian, it counts as a casualty. So you'll lose that way. Just double checking this area to make sure it's clear. I thought I heard someone there, but it turns out it was a barrel, so it kind of worked out in my favor. Somebody's trying to shoot. I'm aiming down to try and narrow their cover, but it's not really working in my favor. When I do find them, I do get hit, but I'm able to quickly dodge out of the way and hit them back. So again, reload. Always make sure you're topped off before you really move on out. Look around, try to snipe as many as you can, just because you need to get only 34 now, instead of, you know, however many the map could possibly make. Another thing as well is watch your corners, because a lot of them are always stationed directly looking at an area. And when you move up ahead to this area here, there's always a guy hiding behind that door. So you just want to spray the door a little bit, throw grenades, you know, make sure that they're panicking a little bit and flush them out. When you do move up to this little corner though, you'll want to watch out because guys tend to rush you. Again, I hear dogs, so I decide to run as fast as I can with the A12 back to my little house. There's always two dogs, so even if you eliminate one, always sit there and wait because the other one will be by in a short amount of time. You can now hear the dogs barking in the background, so they're obviously getting closer. Heartbeat sensor really helps to notice when they're coming on in. And when they do arrive, you just waste them. I'll stick with the holographic scope in this just because it really helps to narrow down my sort of field of vision when I'm aiming down the sights. However, I will change it for a AK-47 with a grenade launcher just because the grenade launcher really helps. And I prefer to use the iron sight on the AK-47 rather than a red dot or something like that. 
So as I move on forward, it starts to get a little clear. I do get under fire. He's hiding around the corner, so it's hard to get him. Lobbing a grenade usually helps. I almost ended up hitting a couple of civilians there, which was kind of a bad thing, but you know what? If I didn't back up, then that guy wouldn't have shot me and I wouldn't have been able to get him. So again, always watch your corners, restock up on ammo when you can, and definitely take cover. That guy's stuck in my little house, but you know, my house, my rules, I'm gonna waste him away. More shots, so I'm kind of taking cover and peeking around, but I don't see anybody else. So I make my way back to the spawn location, and I decide to go for that right side of the map. You'll want to watch up top as well, because sometimes there'll be guys jumping up top. Of course, friendly fire is an issue just because there's so many civilians running out of so many areas. So you'll definitely want to watch your trigger finger. Eventually, I kind of figure out that the left side and the middle seem to be pretty clear, so I move into the right. Unfortunately, I didn't bother to check a corner and almost die there. But with a quick flash and grenade, I'm able to move on in and take out the couple guys there. So again, at this house, they're going to be flooding on out, so I decided to retreat to my little spot. I think I end up hearing dogs or something, but it might have been just my own sort of imagination. Only time I'm going to use claymores is if there are dogs coming towards that house. They tend to help save ammo and whatnot. So I could see a guy there, I'd been able to get him with a couple shots. He's got a friend next to him as well, so I end up getting him too. I can now hear the dogs officially, and I can see them coming from the top of that spawn area. There goes one, and the other one's right there as well, so I peek down, and there it goes. Luckily the claymore doesn't go off when I go past it, so I'm pretty free to move about within that area. Unfortunately I can't pick it up though, so I'll just have to remember that it's there. It's about 18 hostiles left, 7 minutes into this. No civilian deaths, which is great. So I'm deciding, okay, this is the final little stretch, let's head towards that area on the right and take them all out. You can hear a couple guys talking, so I decide to move on in, take as much cover as possible, check your corners, use the flash, get the one guy in the house, and usually there's a guy in there, which is why the door is wide open, but I guess I must have got him earlier. There's a guy through there and I'm able to get him with a grenade. Unfortunately, when I shot that guy, I sort of ran out of ammo, so I'm just lobbing grenades in there instead. I'm able to get three of them with one grenade toss and go back for more ammo, and then I return to my location, kind of listening in to check that, you know, dogs aren't coming or I'm not going to get overrun or flanked or something like that. So there's 12 more left, I'm continuing to move forward, kind of peeking around corners and, you know, using grenades as best as possible to cover my exposed areas, I'm going to say. There's a guy running towards me there, I'm able to get him with a couple of shots afterwards. Again, kind of aiming down just to check for everything, I'm placing a claimer here for my own benefit. And another one by the second door. Just because I know that, you know, one more kill or so, then I'm going to get the dogs on me. This will really help. And then you just slowly and surely make your way to find the rest of the guys and take them all out. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just guys, remember to take cover, uh, load up on ammo, use claymores when you can, and hunker down against the dogs. I can now hear them coming again, so I'm kind of preparing by that door with the AA-12. So both go off and I'm pretty sure that that means both the dogs are gone. There's only about 8 guys left, 9 minutes into this, no civilian casualties.
Alrighty guys, my name's Running Batman. Hope you enjoyed this and have a good day.